Hi, I'm Nancy O'Neill. Thanks for joining us on Suncoast FYI. Today we are featuring artwork by local artist Tim Yeager. Find out more about Tim and his art at the Made By Gallery located on the campus of Ringling College of Art and Design. Now joining us today on Suncoast FYI, Tim Self, Saratona Kids President-Elect and Pamela Plank, their Executive Director, co-founders of Tender Heart Charities, Lisa Martin Manns and Tony Nigro, Donna DeFont and Steve Finzelber with Thunder by the Bay and Atomic Holiday Planner, Adrian Lucas, all next on Suncoast FYI. Hi, I'm Nancy O'Neill. We're so happy to have you with us on today's Suncoast FYI. We're going to start the show with Tim Self, President-Elect of Sertoma Kids and Pam Plank, the Executive Director. They're here to share important information about this wonderful nonprofit. Thank you for being here. And we're looking forward to learning more about what is Saratoma Kids and, and what's the history of it. So our viewers can find out a little bit more. Sure, Sertoma is actually an acronym that stands for Service to Mankind. And it's a national nonprofit civic organization that was founded about 100 years ago. Here in Sarasota, we've had a club for about 60 years. And since 1959, we've had a speech and language clinic. Mm -hmm. Nationally, Sertoma focuses on hearing and speech. Here locally, we focus primarily on speech and language. And our clinic today mm -hmm. is known as Sertoma Kids because we focus on kids with needs for speech and language and kids maybe that have financial needs and need some help with these yes. services. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what, what type of services do we offer the community and is it the surrounding communities, not just Sarasota? Correct. Okay. We offer services to anyone in the, in the general area. We have families that come from Manatee County, Sarasota County. We have families that come from Northport. Okay. And so. what, do you, what do you offer, Pam? I mean, and you're a speech pathologist? I'm a speech language pathologist. Mm -hmm. So we provide um, services for any child that has any type of disability that would encompass a speech, language, or communication disorder. Mm -hmm. um, that is very great. It's the scope of practice is very large for that. Okay. And, and how do you determine, uh, what, what are the signs? to determine whether a child is suffering from this? Well, there, there are many signs. Um, typically, parents start to realize when their child is, is young, if mm -hmm. they're not making any sounds, if okay. they're not responding, if they're not making eye contact, if they are not laughing and smiling, okay. and meeting those developmental milestones. OK, and what is the scope of the practice? I mean, what, what tell us a little bit more about what you get into, not just speech, okay. language. Well. Our scope of practice is very large. Mm -hmm. People um, often think that speech pathologists wor work with people with a lisp or with a stutter, mm -hmm. but we really encompass a lot more than that. Um, one in six children has a developmental disability, and one in 12 children has a disability that's only related to speech, language, mm -hmm. or swallowing. Mm -hmm. So there is a great need for what we do. Mm -hmm. um, children. Absolutely. We, the scope of practice encompasses children with mild disabilities, which would be speech or language impairments, mm -hmm. all the way up to pe children that have severe developmental disabilities that would include autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, intellectual disabilities. Mm -hmm. So our scope of practice is wide. Wide, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what is the, the s fees for these services and what is the age that you start seeing children? Currently, we have children as young as uh, 18 months. Mm -hmm. um, we have worked with kids up to the age of 18. Okay. So primarily pediatrics, I would say that most of our children are between the ages of two and 10. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And Tim, can you tell us a little bit about, about the fees for the services and, and how you determine that? Sure, where Sertoma Kids is unique is certainly there's a lot of speech language pathologists in Sarasota mm -hmm. in the community, but 
we recognize that there's a lot of insurance companies that don't cover these services and there's a lot of families that are unable to pay for these services. Mm -hmm. So we work on a sliding scale and provide these services re regardless of the family's ability to pay. Okay, so our Sertoma Club mm -hmm. is responsible primarily for raising the funds to operate the clinic, but the clinic itself, Sertoma Kids, mm -hmm. is its own nonprofit 501 501c3, okay. and it has some other fundraisers and things that it does to help raise money as well. Okay, so you um, need donations from the community. Absolutely. Wonderful, and I know there's an event you mentioned coming up in April. There is. We're very excited to have our, our second annual event of My Hometown Fest. Okay. It will be at Nathan Benderson Park on April 15th. All right. And it is an opportunity to sample foods from across the region, but the various restaurants that will be bringing food samples from their hometown. Lovely. Okay. We'll also have Gold Coast Eagle that will be providing samples of many different craft beers from various hometowns right. well, as well. We're going to look forward to that, and our viewers can go to your website and find out more information. That's right. Okay. Yes. Great. Right. Thank you. I'm sorry that our time was so short with you, mm -hmm. but really appreciate you being here today. Thank Great. you very much. Thank you for having us. Coming up, our next guest focus on rescuing animals. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. We're joined now by Lisa Martin Manns and Tony Nigro co-founders of nonprofit organization Tender Heart Charities. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for Thank having you us. And for the work that you do. Now tell us about Tender Heart Charities, please, because well, it's a great organization. Like you said, we're a nonprofit um, animal rescue. Mm -hmm. We do canines primarily because we have some non-cat friendly. My daughter actually does fostering for a kitty organization, not ours, but um, we take dogs off of death row, medically needy, um, discarded, mm -hmm. abandoned, <clears throat> excuse me, and, um, and we take them in, we rehab, and we try to find them the most perfect forever home because mm -hmm. we don't want them coming back, which right. we will take them back if it does, it's if not it a perfect work. fit. Yes. Okay. And uh, how do you manage the responsibilities? Because are, are they all volunteers that you have? Or? We actually don't have volunteers. They're all ours. Oh my goodness. We have two, we have two foster uh, families. One is taking a break. She only had one foster and then we have one that has a foster okay. and he is a little possessive over her so we think he might have his forever home there. Okay. So we <laughs> We're, we're looking for fosters. All right. Well, yeah. good to know. Yeah. Looking for fosters, and we can find more of that on your on your website, and that goes into details. And uh, Tony, can you tell us um, how do you afford the medical uh, and the care costs? Because obviously, it's quite expensive. It is. Yes, um, we have a relationship with the uh, Humane Society mm -hmm. and a doctor, uh, Dr. Huber which uh, Lisa has known and had a relationship with for about 30 years now. Yeah. And, um, you know, there are donations mm -hmm. that we get for the um, adoption of the pets. And those are, you know, put towards um, the medical bills, the mm -hmm. spay, the neuter, the microchip, the rabies, all inoculations and boosters to get them up to date. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's out of pocket and sometimes, yeah. you know, we get donations as well. Okay. So we but, manage. But they, they go home to you healthy, and I know you were talking about a, a astronomical fee for an animal that you found. It was over $4,000. He was a Miami no. throwaway. Um, <sighs> and you know, in the circle, when you're on, we primarily use Facebook. Our website, I someone else set it up for us, mm -hmm. so I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I'm gonna figure that out. Okay. But um, through, the, through the Facebook, uh, the community, Animal advocates will hit you up in a post. Okay, and they find tag you, you in it, and they found me for this okay. boy. And this All boy right. was wandering the streets of Tamp or of uh, Miami, and, and he he him. made his way to us, but he Good. needed three surgeries, and um, and he's healthier now. And he's wonderful. Ready he's, to an, go. he's an old guy. Okay, he's an old guy, eight years old, All but right. uh, he's come a long way Wonderful. to now, good health. How can the community help you with this very worthy cause? Um, spay and neuter. <laughs> spay and neuter. Spay and I mean, neuter. So we should you all know, do. Human responsibility to, it is a huge role in this. If people mm -hmm. would be responsible, sure, and um, and just spay and neuter their pets, 
not throw them out, not get pets if they can't okay. handle can't take it. Care but of we them. we would we need people who will volunteer and help <laughs> us out. In and the they events. can do something as simple as come in and walk the dog. Absolutely. Now, uh, what would what would make a wish list for you? What would you like like it to be? My wish list is for more compassion in the world and less evil. Yes. And Especially for people to spay, and, you know, Bob Barker was saying it for years. Yes, spay and Bless neuter, heart, and it yes. didn't obviously didn't take over. Nope. Um, I don't know what your wish would be, but uh. um, to have uh, more compliancy and um, participation with maybe local uh, fundraisers, mm -hmm. you know, to raise money for the uh, charity and mm -hmm. other people that are not as fortunate, you know, to help them with their sure. medical bills and and vet bills okay. for their pets as well. So any donations that the community can send to you, what, what is your website so that they can find you? We have a PayPal under our uh, tenderheartcharitiesinc.org okay. or dot, okay. uh, at gmail.com okay. and tenderheartcharityinc.org is our website that has that PayPal button to it. Right. Um, our adoption donations start at 250 and every dime that we get goes into an account. Goes back. It does and Great. it's all used for the utilization for okay. their care and their medical right. and everything affiliated with Thank you. Those pets. Great. Well, thank you both for being with thank us you. today. Well, thank you for having and us. I hope I, I brought some donations with you, and I hope they enjoy yes. those cookies. Thank you. Thank they you for the treat. Wonderful. <laughs> Thunder by the Bay is just around the corner, and we'll talk about what you have to look forward to. So please stay with us. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Nancy O'Neill. Thunder by the Bay is next month. Oh my goodness. Donna DeFont and Steve Finzelber are here to tell us about several ways the community helps raise money during these events. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having this us. This is amazing. It's, I can't believe it's already coming up next mm -hmm. month. It goes by so quickly. So I know you have a couple special events that we're going to talk about this morning. Uh, the first one, Donna, is the Born to be Wild event. Born to be Wild Born kickoff to party. Be wild. Okay. So <laughs> tell us some, all about that and where it is and when it is. Well, it's going to be on the first Friday night of January, January 6th at the Polo Grill mm -hmm. in Lakewood Ranch. It's going to be from 6 to 10 and there's only limited tickets available, but you can purchase them online at thunderbythebay.org and you click on the tickets tab and then you click on Born to be Wild kickoff party and you can get your tickets online. Okay. Um, we're going to have the Billy Rice Band playing live music. Great. We're going to have great paired foods with tasting beverages. There's going to be an open bar. So besides being able to drink and eat and dance to the music, we're going to have a great silent auction as well. Okay. There's going to be um, valet parking at the Polo Grill and there'll be designated parking for motorcycles. It's going to be a great event. Okay. Now you were saying about the um, um, auction items. Mm. You've been extremely busy collecting yes. those. I have. Um, do you need more? We can or? always use more. You okay. can contact us through the website or okay. you can contact me directly. And um, we have some amazing things that people are going to be able to bid on in this silent auction. Okay. We have a fiddle that is autographed by Charlie Daniels. Cool. We're going to have an autographed guitar, a Jack Daniels guitar that's going to be autographed by Blue Oyster Cult. We're going to have um, you tickets. Have some great connections here. Yes, we're going to have um, tickets for a private meet and greet with uh, Blue Oyster Cult. We also have a fishing chart that's been autographed by Northwestern from the Deadliest Catch. And all of the Lakewood Main Street merchants have given us gift certificates or items that okay. we're putting in theater baskets and dining baskets and all kind of other okay. baskets for the silent auction. Now, can people go and bid on these prior to the event, and how do they do that? No, they have to come to the event. You have to have okay. a ticket at the event all right. and uh, be a VIP at this event so you can actually bid on them there. Okay, so we can go find all that information on your website right. for that event. Now, Steve, mm -hmm. you're the chair of a quite different event. It's called Cruise for Cash. Yeah, we're really excited about this year's event because we're doing something new that we haven't done before and we're starting the ride and the registration at Suncoast mm -hmm. Charities for Children's main office off of 17th Street. Mm -hmm. This way everybody can see where it all happens. Okay. And the, at the uh, registration, 
uh, clients with special needs from all five agencies which the charity supports from this event will be there to greet all the riders. That's, That's one of the favorite parts of the ride. Okay. Everybody loves that. Yes. There'll also be a live remote um, from radio station Z105 playing okay. music during okay. the registration. And the registration takes place from 9.30 to 11.30, mm -hmm. Saturday, January 7th. Okay. Uh, we ask for a $20 donation from each participant and they will have a chance to win up to four thousand dollars in cash prizes Great. Great. so the ride itself is about forty miles long mm -hmm. takes about an hour there's four stops at we, each one of the stops um, the participants will draw a card they'll draw three cards and if okay. they draw one with a dollar sign marked on it they will get a coupon that they can turn in for the drawing at the uh, later that day okay. now I understand that um, for those who don't have a motorcycle, mm -hmm. anybody can come. If they don't ride, they can par participate by still making a donation. Uh, oh so yeah. we'll let them go and find out what they can do and how oh, they, they uh, can do that on their on your website. On, online donations can be made at thunderbythebay.org. Great. Mm -hmm. Last year's ride raised over uh, eight thousand dollars. Well, we're going to top that this year. Yeah, and from from day one, so. from Thunder by the Bay, from the beginning, they've raised over one point seven Great. million for charity. Great. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have another successful event. Thank you very okay. much. Next on Suncoast FYI, the holidays are literally days away. And just in time to find amazing gifts for those hard-to-buy friends, family, or even for you, it's the annual Atomic Holiday Bazaar, so don't go away. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. The Atomic Holiday Bazaar opens tomorrow. Event planner extraordinaire, Adrian Lucas joins us now. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> of course. Thanks. Oh. So the Atomic Bazaar has been around, this is the 11th year. My baby is a tween. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's gone by so fast. So tell us what it is. Tell the people that don't know what it, what it is. Okay, Atomic Holiday Bazaar is a craft show that won't make you yawn. It's not your granny's craft show. Affordable and amusing 21st century craft, handmade, mm -hmm. also machine made. Technology okay. has entered the realm of the indie craft sure. world. But that's what it is. Okay. And what is going to be happening? Because there's a lot going on. What's going to be happening during the weekend? The show has grown uh, in ways that I never thought would have, I wouldn't have imagined mm -hmm. this 10 years ago. Uh, the, we have a street fair now. This is our second year for the street fair. Mm -hmm. So you will have the main room, you have the bayfront room, which is free, yep. and then you have the street fair. Okay. So. With the street fair, there will be food trucks, please come hungry, we have vegetarian options, mm -hmm. we have a raffle for the Sarasota Defense of Animal, um, not-for-profit organization. Uh, our, our atomic vendors have donated tons of beautiful items for the for raffle. The raffle. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's a tremendous uh, winning for okay. one person. So. Now, um, how, how many vendors do you have? I believe, um, as of this morning, 214 that are um, interchanging. Some will be there for two days, some yeah. will be there for one day. So people should come both days because it's not going to be yes, the same show every sh people day. People should come both days. Of course, absolutely. Of course. Now, again, I, I, don't, I don't want to, um, um, I want to come back to the charity. Mm -hmm. So what is the cost for the raffle tickets? Raffle tickets are really affordable. Okay. Uh, one ticket is a dollar. Uh, three tickets are, is five and ten is eight. Okay. And it's a scoop. I mean, okay. by the time this raffle basket is assembled, it's going to be huge. Okay. And I think it's probably going to be worth about $2,000. Wow. Yeah. So whoever wins this yep. is set for the holidays. Or yep. they can just keep it for themselves. There you go. Yeah. Either way, it's a, it's a great win. It's a cool win. Now, what are, what are some of the arts and crafts that are going to be in the show? Can you give us May a little I preview? May I show you? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, this is one of my favorites. This is by Pergamo Papers, and she will be in the main room. She really focuses, a lot of her illustrations are on prints, mm -hmm. but she also translate them, translates them to fabric. And these are really affordable. I happen to own a few. I just think they're delicious. They're anthropomorphic, uh, you know, a, a blend of uh, mid-century outfits uh -huh. with, you know, cute otters and uh -huh. you name it. I just love it. Um, okay, 
We have also, this is a local business, uh, Cheek, I always get this wrong, Cheek and Pen Paper Company. Um, she is really doing well locally and nationally starting to sell. So really funny, amusing cards. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, this is a collage artist who will have her original collage um, work, but then she translates them to prints. All Very right. affordable. Okay, and this here is this a little... This is Bratz Beard Care, and he makes organic uh, beard products and oils for men, and this is made in America. That's great for it's men. I awesome love it. Awesome and very affordable, okay. and it smells really good too. Okay, and that's that goes that's along with this. That's one of his oils. Yeah, okay. it comes in a cute little pack, All and right. a perfect little gift. Okay. This. And let's finish sweetie, with this one. This bee is going to be in the atomic tote bags. This is by Cab Fair. Yes. Her laser cut jewelry, okay. and so everyone okay. who gets a tote will a tote bag. Now let's finish up with that. Okay. The first hundred people through the door yes. at noon in the main room okay. will receive an Atomic Holiday Bazaar tote that's screened by clothesline mm -hmm. and done. Uh, the art is done by an artist, uh, G Art, who will be in the show. Okay, and they're highly sought after, so they you are. have to be the first hundred in line. Don't lose your spot in line. Okay, all right. Yes. Thank you for being here, Thank Adrian. Thank you. I can't wait. And uh, we'll have your website online so people can go check it out. But. Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. December be there. 10th and 12th. All right, be there. 11th. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. Suncoast FYI will be right back after a quick break. If you have a business or community event that you would like to share with us, please call our sales department at 941-361-4239. I'm Nancy O'Neill, and we'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.